If you're interested in undertaking cross-development with uh, Commodore computers, uh, Commodore 8-bit computers that is, then the PetCat utility that's provided with the Vice Commodore emulator uh, can be great. It allows you to convert basic source code contained in ASCII text files to uh, PRG files, so it allows you to tokenize that basic source code. And it can also do the reverse, so it can take a PRG file, uh, detokenize it, and leave you with an ASCII text file. Uh, it also allows you to do similar things with SEQ files, so you can convert an ASCII text file to a PETSCI SEQ file, or vice versa. So in this video I want to show how we can uh, first of all convert some basic source code to produce a PRG file. So I'll create the basic source code first of all. Right. So with the uh, PetCatch utility we need to enter the basic keywords in lowercase because otherwise uh, they'll be interpreted differently. I'll explain how that works on uh, on the last line of this program. Uh, so here we are, we're printing, and you can see this uh, keyword, or at least this uh, mnemonic here in uh, braces. So that's the mnemonic for the clear symbol, because we've got no way of entering that clear symbol through a, an ASCII keyboard. It's an unprintable character. So we'll use that to indicate that we want to clear the screen. And then i do some more, black, or BLK, sorry, that um, changes the text color to black. And then we can change it to red. go back to black and then change the text color to blue and then the last line I just want to indicate how or why we should keep everything lowercase as far as the uh, basic keywords are concerned if I for example did L capital I, that would be tokenized as list in the output. So I'll save that and then I'll convert this to a, a PRG file. So I'll say petcat dash w. Dash w indicates that we want to specify which version we're going to use. So PetCat allows us to use quite a few different versions. We can use uh, the standard uh, versions that came with basic, uh, sorry, standard Commodore, uh, standard versions of basic that came with Commodore computers. So version 1, version 2, 3.5, 4, and 7. But we can also use other extended basics such as uh, Simon's basic. So I'll say basic. Uh, version 2, so that'll allow us to create a tokenizer program that would be compatible with a Commodore 64, a VIC-20, or, um, or or a PET, depending on uh, the PET that you have. And we use a dash O to say that this is the output file, so we're going to say test.prg and test.baz. We put the uh, double hyphen there. Uh, to stop processing switches. We could omit it in this case because test.baz hasn't got a hyphen at the start, but I'll put it in as it's good practice. So there we are. We've created the test.prg file. And now we can load that uh, using XVIC, uh, using um, the VIC-20 emulator. So um, I'm running xvic dash basic load, and that'll mean that it'll load it using comma eight instead of comma eight comma one, which uh, I have my um, emulator set up to do. So that's controlled by the uh, auto start basic load entry in the config. So if I start that, 
What have I demonstrated how to auto start the image with XPIC? I'm going to manually load it here because it makes the screen recording so much easier. So if I list the program and we can see some funny symbols, uh, they're the symbols that our mnemonics have been turned into. So if we look at the first one, 10 print, and that's the mnemonic for the clear screen. Uh, we can demonstrate that at the keyboard. If I print quotes and then press the home key, uh, or the clear key, and there you are. It's the same symbol. Right, so we'll run this program and see what happens. Oh yes, one other thing. On line 60, we can see that our L, uh, lowercase L capital letter I, has been converted to list. Just to demonstrate uh, why we shouldn't put uppercase letters in our basic source code unless we want them to be converted in this way. So uh, I'll run that. And there we are. And uh, that's demonstrated how we've cleared the screen, changed the text color, and then the list is run at the end. If I then wanted to convert, or if I alternatively wanted to convert a, um, a basic PRG file to ASCII text, then I can do the reverse, which I'll uh, switch back to the text to the uh, command line prompt on my Linux machine and show you how to do that. So we're back at our Linux command prompt. And if I take the uh, test.prg file uh, that we previously converted or tokenized from the test.baz file, and I want to detokenize that prg file to create a new baz file. So I'll do that using the dash to command. So when I'm tokenizing, I use the w, dash w2 and that indicates that I want to tokenize using version 2 of BASIC. Here I want to detokenize, so I drop the W and just use dash 2. And I want to output to test2.baz, and uh, the file I want to detokenize is test.png. And there we are, there's the file that we had to start with. So, nicely easy to use, really useful. Um, and it makes it so much easier than typing things in or uh, doing it in some other way. You can do a, a strange sort of copy and paste thing through Vice, uh, but it's laborious and it's too prone to error, whereas this you can automate so many things so much more easily. So uh, do have a look at the accompanying article on the TechThinking website, which shows um, some of the switches, such as the, uh, the other, uh, other versions of BASIC. It also shows a list of common mnemonics, and uh, also have a look at our other videos on the Tech Tinkering YouTube channel. There's some more about the VIC-20 and about CPM as well, and um, have a look at other articles on the Tech Tinkering website. Oh yes, and uh, do subscribe.